Here's the thing guys, before you even start thinking about hiring a personal trainer, sets, reps, calories, macros, meal plans, programs, all of those things, if you don't have these six fundamental foundational reasons in check before the start of the new year, the bottom line is you're not gonna reach your goals. The first reason is you're full of excuses once the new year hype is gone. And we see this for those of you who are regulars at the gym, January hits, the gym is packed. By the second to third week, the gym is less packed. And by February, it's starting to get back to normal. Now, although, we kind of like it when this happens because the gym isn't as packed. We don't want to go down that road. We want to help people, we want to keep them motivated. So what can we do to figure out how to keep people on track with their goals? And the biggest thing here is guys, you have to make going to the gym or exercising in general, even if you're exercising at home, you have to make it a part of your schedule. Just like when you go to work in the morning, you don't wake up and think about whether or not you want to go to work. It is a commitment you have to do and you have to treat the gym as the same thing. So when you wake up, whether you're working out in the morning or at night, know that you're gonna go through your entire routine before you come home and relax. Because a lot of times what happens too is people will get out of work and they'll go home to get a few things done and then go to the gym. And we all know what happens. You get home, you get a few things done, and then you say, yeah, whatever, I'm not gonna go, I'll go tomorrow. And then this starts to, you know, creating a pattern in your brain of it's okay to skip the gym. And that's what you're telling yourself, when, even when you do that, it's okay to skip the gym. It's okay to not fully focus on my goals and you don't want that to happen. So what can you do to make sure that you stay motivated? You gotta find what inspires you, like what gets you pumped up to wanna go exercise. For me, while I'm getting ready to go to the gym, I like listening to rock music. I put my headphones on while I'm either preparing my pre-workout meal or my shake or my bag or whatever I'm doing. I like to put music on, that's what gets me in the zone. Erica likes to scroll through her Instagram, look at inspirational photos or memes, and other people do the same thing. That, you know, Some people have a wall in their house of inspirational physiques, of people who they wanna look like, you know? And that's a really cool thing to do too. Especially if it's photos of me, you know? Going like this. What do you think, babe? Yeah? Yeah, that inspires me tremendously. Erica actually has a whole wall in her closet room of photos that I had given her doing various <laughs> poses. I know that's a lot <laughs> gets her pumped to go to the gym. <laughs> but I mean, come on guys, seriously. I mean, do you think that you're the only person in the world that has a full-time job? Or if you're a parent, do you think you're the only parent in the world that has kids and has all these commitments? I know lots of parents and lots of people with very strenuous jobs that still make the time to accomplish their fitness goals. And you have to remind yourself, you're doing this for you. You're not doing this to impress anybody else, you're doing it for you. It's a personal goal, it's something that you're look, looking forward to doing to better yourself. The second reason is that your workout is not focused on continuously challenging yourself and focusing on progress. And what I mean by this, guys, is that when you start going to the gym, you'll probably see some results right away. We'll call these your newbie gains. But once those newbie gains are gone, Unless you have a structured program focused on challenging yourself, you're gonna plateau very quickly. And what I mean by that is, you can challenge yourself by adding some reps, adding weight, shortening your rest periods, changing your workout routine. There's various things that you can do to make sure that you're constantly pushing yourself. If you're just going to the gym with a piece of paper that says, you know, I'm gonna bench 100 pounds for 10 reps, I'm gonna rest 60 seconds, I'm gonna repeat that three times, and then every single day you go to the gym, you follow that same exact format, well, the whole point of exercising is to get stronger and bigger and to build muscle and lose fat and all these things, so, you know, if you think about it, if you're doing the same thing every single time you go and you're getting stronger, that same workout isn't gonna be, you know, you're not gonna benefit from it because you've gotten stronger, you've overcome that. So you need to challenge yourself. Even if you only add one pound to your lift, that's still challenging yourself more than the week before. So if you guys aren't measuring your progress in any sort of way, 
and you're not challenging yourself, after a couple weeks, you're gonna find that you're not really making progress. And it doesn't even matter if you're in the gym for two hours or three hours or however long you're there, the whole point of going to the gym is to maximize your time and to maximize your effort. And it doesn't necessarily equate to more time in the gym, it means you need to be more focused on progress with your workouts. Now the third reason is one of my favorites. You're not being honest with yourself about what you're eating. And you're probably lying to others too. One of my favorite stories that I tell Erica is I had a client who told me that they were eating their meal plan and they were following it to a T and like literally the very next day, cause I'm wondering why, like why is this person not, you know, getting the progress that I'm expecting from them? The very next day I was going for a run down the street and guess who was pulling out of the drive-thru at McDonald's exactly as I was running by. And I was just kind of like, really? Is this, this is you following your meal plan, you know? Needless to say, we got her on track. But you know, we we all do this in some in some sort of fashion, you know. How many of you guys have had like a protein shake or a piece of chicken and like convinced yourself that you had enough protein for the day, you know? Most people don't even know how much protein they're eating, but they're like, oh, I had some chicken with lunch and then I had a little protein shake, so I, I probably ate all my protein for the day. And it's like, really? Do you know how much protein is in a little piece of chicken and a shake? Not enough to complete your entire goal for the day. So you gotta think about this, guys. Then the other end of the spectrum is, you know, we're, we're eating all kinds of junk to justify in our head, well, like, well, I'm bulking, so I can eat this, I can eat that Cinnabon, I can eat this candy, I can eat that bread, I can do this, this, that, and the other thing. And when you start doing that, you know, you're fooling yourself to think that you're hitting your macros for the day just because you ate a lot of food. Well, let's think about this. Macros consist of protein, carbs, and fat. If you're eating mostly junk, I guarantee your numbers for your protein are gonna be like this, and then your numbers for your carbs and fat are gonna explode. So that's not really helping you out either. And on the other end of the spectrum, you're trying to lose weight, but you're convincing yourself that it's okay to have like these like crazy fruit drinks or the two coffees you have a day, the caramel mocha latte with extra caramel, sugar, cream, and cinnamon, and you know, all these other things that are going into it, and you just, you kind of forget that like every calorie counts. And just because you had this like super insane, you know, calorie dense, you know, food item, and you do, you're gonna do 20 minutes of cardio later at the gym, it's not balancing each other out. Just because you're gonna do some cardio at the gym doesn't mean you're gonna burn off that 600 calorie drink you just had. So you have to keep that in mind as well. Whether you're trying to, just making sure you're eating enough throughout the day, whether you're trying to gain weight or lose weight, you have to be honest with yourself about your eating. Reason number four is that you're stubborn and close-minded. Now, obviously, if you're on YouTube, you guys should be a very small percentage of those people because you have seen all kinds of different training and all kinds of different diet advice that has worked for all kinds of different people. So clearly that there are many different ways to train and eat to reach your goals. But you guys need to make sure that you're being aware of your body. For a lot of you, especially for those of you guys who are just starting to lift, no matter what you do, like I said earlier, you will see newbie gains. Once those gains are over, you know, you might think you found the golden ticket in terms of your routine and your diet that you're focusing on right now, but once those, those results start to plateau and taper off, you know, you're gonna have to start rethinking what you're doing and it might be time to switch things up in order to get more results. So for example, let's say you've been doing a body weight split routine for a couple months. Chest Monday, back Tuesday, arms Wednesday, legs Thursday, that kind of thing. You know, maybe it's time to switch like a push-pull legs or five by five or some other type of training style to see if that'll help you push through that plateau. And even with your diet advice, you know, you could have had really great results following a certain diet, but once you got to a certain point, you found that you're having a hard time losing fat or gaining muscle and you're kind of stuck, maybe you need to manipulate your diet a bit more and there's something better out there for you. So maybe you're on a high protein diet now, maybe if you switch to like carb cycling or something like that, you can take your body to that next level. The point here, guys, is 
If you're stubborn, you're not gonna be fully aware of your body and you're not gonna be fully aware of what you can do to constantly push yourself and take it to the next level. And on top of that, there's always new technology and there's always new studies coming out that you guys can read and check out to really help push your fitness goals to the next level. And I always like to make sure that I'm at the forefront of that. That's why I bring you guys cool stuff like the Sculpt and Fitness Jeans and the Think. You know, the Think, the think is the uh, item you wear on your forehead. All these different things can be used to help you reach your goals. You just have to make sure that you're willing to open your mind to at least listen to see if it's something that'll work for you. So stop being stubborn and closed-minded. Reason number five is that you don't have a workout plan and you're just starting to go through the motions. And what I mean by this is, and don't get me wrong, I know a lot of you guys go to the gym and you're like, I know what I'm doing when I go to the gym. I'm gonna do chest, I'm gonna hit this machine, that machine, this machine, that machine. Then I'm gonna do some abs over there and I'm gonna do a little bit of this and maybe some cardio at the end. Yeah, like that's okay. But for those of you who are really wanting to push yourself and take it to the next level, you need to go to the gym with a plan and a plan that you can follow for the next six to eight weeks where you write down the exercises you're gonna do, how many sets, how many reps, the weight you're doing, and what the rest time is. And the reason why you need to do this is so that you can measure your progress from week to week. Now I know there might be some crazy people out there who can remember every single sets and reps and weights they did for every single body part for every single machine, you know, but the majority of us can't do that. And to be honest with you, it's a lot easier to write it down than to try to remember everything. So that when you go to the gym, you have an action plan. You can take out your workout sheet, you can see what you did the week before, and you can be like, all right, last week I did 10 reps with 100 pounds, this week I'm gonna do 10 reps with 105 pounds. And you've already tracked progress just on your first exercise. And another thing, especially for me, having a workout plan helps me with is keeping my rest period short. There's a lot of distractions at the gym and you don't wanna be distracted too much to the point where you're taking a 60 to 90 second break and turning it into a 10 minute break between all of your sets. Cause then you're gonna be in the gym for like two to three hours and on top of that, the intensity has gone from here to here. But we don't want that to happen. So guys, you have to have a workout plan. It will help you with focus so much, you have no idea. It'll take your level of focus from here to here when you're at the gym, and you'll be crushing it and making better gains than you've ever seen before. So get on a plan. And reason number six, you think you need to eat big to get big. And I have to clarify this a little bit. Now, obviously, if you guys are trying to put on muscle, you need to be eating more calories. But don't think just because you're eating every single thing that's placed in front of you that you're gonna reach that goal quicker. It doesn't work like that. So you might reach your goal of getting to 200 pounds, but if you gain 30 pounds of fat, how much muscle did you really gain? And if your overall goal is to look good, you're not gonna look good with an extra 30 pounds of fat on you and it's not gonna be helping you towards that goal of gaining muscle. Now, I personally am gonna start bulking in January as well. I wanna get from 179 to 190, but I'm gonna do it in such a way where I clean bulk. Yes, I'll put on a little bit of fat, but I'm not gonna be one of those dudes in the gym with huge arm and then like a fatty chest and a fatty stomach that pops out when I lift my arms over my head. Cause that's not the look I'm going for. If that's the look you wanna go for, then that's great and you should do it and I'll support you the whole way if that's what you want. But if you guys wanna get big and lean starting in January and you wanna bulk the right way, you don't have to, don't convince yourself that eating big is the only way to get big. You have to eat more to get big, but more of the right things and you have to track those calories. Now, if you wanna make sure that none of these reasons affect your training at the start of January, then you have to go to musculostrength.com and sign up for my weekly newsletter because pretty soon I'm gonna be sending out information for you guys to sign up for my 12 week transformation challenge. And this is the biggest challenge that I've ever done on my YouTube channel in terms of video content and prizes. The way the videos are gonna work, I'm gonna be supplying you guys with new workouts all throughout January, February, and March, and these videos are gonna be in real time, so you're gonna be doing the workouts with me in your home. 
All these workouts can be done at home or at the gym. You're gonna love them and they're gonna be intense. And as for the prizes, I'm picking one male and one female winner. Each person's gonna win a cash prize of $1,000, a weekend training session with me if you live in the US, a sculpt aim, and some other prizes as well, including my new food line that just came out called True Gains. High protein pasta, high protein oatmeal, high protein granola, and some amazingly tasting high protein bars as well. If you guys haven't checked that out yet, you'll be seeing it very soon. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I wanna make sure you're really amped up for this challenge. So like I said, go to musculostrength.com, sign up for my weekly newsletter, and don't miss out. It's completely free to enter, guys. So you'll be able to do it no matter where you live. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and subscribe. And as always, more good stuff coming soon. See you guys.